Welcome to Daily Devotions on the 5th of January 2021. This is my first Daily Devotions for the new year, so Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, I know it's been a slightly unusual one, but it'll definitely be something we'll all remember. Now, at these times, I often think um, of the past, as I'm sure we all do, and I reflect my grandfather. My grandfather was a man of absolute habit. He was, he was a, a teacher, a master, and um, vice principal of Jaffna College, and later went on to manage the American Mission School. So he typically teacher, like even when he was retired, always get up at the same time, and he would um, carry out his illusions and read the Bible, and listen to the radio, and write in his diary. And I remember thinking when I was a kid, like, why would you do that? Because you're tired and you to stay in bed all day, can't you? Why would you keep to such a routine? But interestingly, 50 years later, guess who does pretty much the same thing? So at the beginning of this, I showed you my five-year diary. Um, I've been keeping a diary. Well, I just copied everything my grandfather did. So from the time I was 10... Um, I've been keeping a diary and I recently found one of these diaries which I've lost again because I was trying to find it for this um, and I was very excited because I thought this is going to give me all the news of when I was 10 with my grandpa and all the things I was doing um, and actually every page had I ice cream and jelly I got this sweetie I did that it was just boring it was it was all about everything I ate there was nothing interesting about any human beings I had contact with. Having now got a new five-year diary, uh, I would hope that that has a little bit more interesting information in it. So it's fascinating to think that life is a bit like that, that you can fill it full of rubbish, really. And the new year is an opportunity for us all to stop and pause and fill it with the important things in life. Um, there's a fantastic chap called Stephen Colby who, who writes coaching books, and I, I do a bit of life coaching. He says, let's start with the end in mind. Who's at your funeral? <laughs> Which is a great thing to think about, because hopefully, you know, it shouldn't be working colleagues and things. It should hope, well, I mean, if you like them, that's fine. But the important people in life who you want to focus your attention on. And I think the New Year is a good time to start uh, so my resolution, if you like, is to keep that focus of the people that are important to me and do my best and perhaps think less of my gut, which to this day is something I think about a lot. I'm going to read from Psalm 121 now, which was actually my grandpa's favourite psalm. And he often read it at the beginning of the year and he read it whenever his children came and went and on some occasions left and didn't come back. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. And the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. May the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding be with you all in this new year. May he fill you with hope as we rejoice in new beginnings. Amen.